Hey guys, Feeding Frenzy here. I'm just coming to you on another video and I uh, just wanted to show you the ins and outs of my system. I thought I'd take a minute and just slow down and just show you kind of what I've done. And, and we'll always make videos and updates and all these things, but I figured it was time to just take a minute and just slow down and show you guys my system. And I'm sorry to backtrack a little bit on this channel, but I wanted to be fair and just really, maybe it, maybe it would help some of these beginners out here who, are, who might be struggling with some ideas. Because guys, this stuff is endless. You'll, you can drive yourself crazy looking at your system design. So, uh, and, and I would encourage you to go and push it, guys. Really push yourselves with your design. And be creative and know that this is yours. There's just a few parameters that you, that you should, that I suggest you stay into, okay? So I'm going to walk you through the, what I would call the beginning, middle, and end of my system. And uh, watch part one if you haven't watched it yet, guys. This is the second part of system design. And I want to I wanna make a quick uh, acronym statement, guys. The word system, if you spell that out, S-Y-S-T-E-M, save yourself time, energy, and money, okay? Keep that in mind, but be efficient. Okay, so we're going to start with the sump tank. We've got a 3,100 gallon pump into a 2 inch line, a 2 inch valve, 75% open or about 70% open. I have a relief point, guys. This is an overbuilt system. I'm going to stress overbuilding your system. It's better to have more and not need it and control it than to need it and not have it. So I've got this split off into a half inch pipe with valves. I'm going to highly suggest and encourage you to get more valves. If you can ever use half inch pipe, guys, these valves are so easy to use. These ones are very, very hard. Sometimes I have to get a torque wrench. Granted, I've got really messed up hands from the work that I do. Um, so that's just me. Now I've also got this one here. It's just teed off and I can just fill a bucket or whatever I need to do with this. I, it's there and it's built in. It's ready to go. And uh, that's what I'm saying. Overbuild your system, guys. And now you'll see all this mess down here. This will all make sense. I'm going to go ahead and point it out. This is from a holding tank. This is from a grow bed. This is from the main fish tanks. And then we'll go over all this. And then this is going to be my raft design. Um, I, I might actually replace this with a different tub that I have. Uh, but I will incorporate this at some point. And uh, soon, hopefully, you can see I've already got my other design uh, ready to go. I've just got to clean this stuff off, and uh, I hope to have some good good results with that. But anyway, we're going up on a two-inch line. We've got another relief a relief point. If guys, if I ever want to add on water flow, it's boom, it's in there, it's ready to go, and it's capped, and I don't have to worry about it. We go into a 90 degree, and yeah, that's right, I, I did use a 90 degree. It actually, gravity, if you can ever use a 90 degree going down for gravity, that's good. I would have liked to slower have bent this, but it is another 90 degree, but it's okay. I've got a big enough pump to where that doesn't bother me. And this is what I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> what a problem. Look at all these plants. I, I don't know if you guys can see my bend, but it's 245 degrees, okay? That's a slower bend. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's 245 degrees, cut fitting pipe back to, a, you know, the main line. So that runs over here, the two inch line, and I've got another half inch with a valve on it, and you can't see it because this cucumber's just done insane amount of growth. But it's a valve, and it's running into my biofilter. And here's the biofilter. Uh, some solids go in there um, when the pump is pumping it. Uh, the solids will go in here. And here, here are the bio balls. I would highly encourage, guys. This thing is amazing. I'm telling you. I've no, the more bio activity or bio space that you have, BSA biological surface area that you have for bacteria to live on, the better your system's going to be. The the more and if, if, if you have a bigger, this is what I say, guys. If you have a bigger biological surface area, that means you can have more fish, which means more plants. 
okay at some point you're gonna have to figure out the balance in your system of plants versus fish because there is a standard out there guys I don't really I don't really look at mathematics I look at what my system is if I need mathematics to get started then I will refer to mathematics other than that less is more in an aquaponic system when you're talking about uh, water chemistry and uh, supplementing and feeding fish and things like that it, you know it, it can be um, sometimes less is more and not all the time but but most of the time uh, you'll want to do small tweaks as far as the biological stuff uh, in a slow increments and just watch it and, t and see what it tells you but back to system guys I'm telling you get these bio balls and this is in a 55 gallon drum which keeps them nice and um, contact like they're all real packed in real tight and they're not just floating around the system I've got a pump at the bottom of the bio balls it runs into this line right here which has a valve and which expands two inches into the grow bed okay so it's different guys my design I I haven't really seen anybody do that okay but uh, it works it's working very very well for me so then we go into a three inch line just to relieve some of the pressure then back down to a two inch line and um, here is one of my fish tanks we've got some tilapia in there they seem to be pretty skittish in the morning but I'm trying to get them to breed don't mind these water levels guys uh, this is that venturi I was telling you about it's just drilled into a hole or to a uh, an elbow I'm gonna try to put the camera underneath there without dropping it if you can see that's that is where the interior goes in. And then we have a solids lift remover right here. It's capped at the bottom and you drill holes in it and it will suck the poop up when, when the water level is right. Again, don't mind these water levels. I'm, I, I don't want them this high right now. And uh, that solids lift remover just has a T on it. And it just uh, flows into here. This is part of the overbuilding of your system that I'm talking about, guys. And then it goes into your biofilter. Everything goes into my biofilter All the, it, when I have the water levels right. So it's just the same thing over and over, guys. Duplication. Duplication. It's just like McDonald's. They, they make a hamburger the same way all over the entire planet. So we just duplicate it okay as far as where where you want your water levels and then you can always take these off guys and I'll show you what I mean now this tank right here I've got another tank this is for the fish tank you can see the white tilapia in there he's about two and a half pounds he was a gift but I've also got everything plumbed at the bottom guys I like having more valves I don't know how many people use these but I like having more valves okay this one's closed because this one is my holding tank. This is where I just hold water and I can introduce it into my system anytime I feel like. It has a solids lift remover. I can always make it into a fish tank. Again, here, here is a, a Venturi. Sorry about this camera work, guys. You've got to bear with me. This is a Venturi. And all it is, guys, I've seen some really complicated ones out there, okay? If you have a bigger pump, then you don't it, my opinion is you don't need to go too far with your venturi and uh, th this is it guys it this thing works amazing and uh, it's quarter inch tubing with a beveled edge go look up what a beveled edge is if you don't know and because uh, I'm not gonna take that out of there it's really hard to get that that uh, tubing in there it's such a tight fit and guys I really don't glue anything I don't know when I'm going to want to take some of this stuff apart. So yeah, I might have some drips here and there. But guys, I don't like gluing my PVC. I'm sorry, unless it's absolutely necessary. I had to glue that 3-inch fitting to the 2-inch fitting. That's about it. Other than that, I'm just going to try to really just make sure it's tight. I mean, you can see we got leaks, you know, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. Okay, guys, I want to show you this tank. Uh, here's my goldfish tank. These guys are nice and healthy, and I want you guys to really look at the water clarity that I have in my system. My water is very, very clean. Yeah, we got a little bit of an algae thing going, but that's from the phosphorus that I use it that I use to uh, lower my pH. So you got to be careful with that. But I want you guys to look at this venturi. Do you guys hear that? 
I hope you guys can hear this. Guys, that is water being sucked in with air through this Venturi right here. And guys, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna put the camera in there and hopefully you guys can see the aeration that I'm getting off of that. I hope you guys saw that and heard all that. Again, forgive this camera work, but uh, we have another solids lift remover right here. And then I have it going into this for right now. And I just rigged that up myself, guys. I mean, that's not a final design because I'm actually gonna put two more grow beds right here. And I don't know if I wanna make it go this way or not. Um, so anyway, so we have a grow bed right here from all that and then I've got everything plumbed at the bottom and then this is the main valve if the electricity should go out this uh, really all I have to do to save my system to save it is close this one valve off and everything will not flow back into the uh, the sump tank now th here it is guys this is the end so we're right back here. I have all of those totes open to some degree at the bottom on that valve. And this is where it goes. And this really drives my system, guys. Um, it helps out getting the solids out of the uh, fish tank. And I'll show you some more tips and the uh, real finesse stuff on the system as we go. Because I'm still building my system, guys. I'm still building it. So um, I wanted to show you the grow beds after they drain with the bell siphons. Guys, you can go look up bell siphons on your own. This is where they all drain. Actually, one's draining right now. And it holds in this tank right here. I put a little net cup on here to have a filter. I thought it was pretty easy. It fits right into a two inch line. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but then that two inch line just flows right back into the sump tank. And I, I hope all that makes more sense for you. This is that tank, the holding tank. This is the grow bed from the goldfish. This is the main two inch line from all the totes. Now, let's, 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 let's uh, look, go look at some plants here. Guys, I want you to see this, these cucumbers. These things, there's about 30 cucumbers on this, um, on this cucumber tree right now, or plant. Guys, it's unbelievable. This thing has exploded. Look at the growth on this thing. Look at the size of this broccoli, folks. This broccoli has actually got two heads growing on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this broccoli is huge, guys. This is the biggest damn broccoli I've ever seen in my life. But look at all these cucumbers, folks. They're, they're everywhere. I'm trying to show this stuff to you. And uh, there's the corn. Look at the size of that cucumber. There's just cucumbers everywhere, guys. And we've got some corn coming in. Here's the tomatoes. I've already picked a lot of them. But uh, we've had really good success, guys. These things smell wonderfully. And if you haven't watched the video on why I had a second grow bed problem, go back and watch that video. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've got tomatoes, guys. I mean, I hope you guys can see all this stuff. I am sorry about this camera work. And then we've got some peppers coming in. There's, there's a new one coming in. And then we've got all these peppers. we got peppers everywhere, guys. And uh, it's just everything's looking real good. Here's my okra. That needs to be clipped. And uh, the okra is just growing through the ceiling, guys. Look at all these peppers we, we got coming in. And uh, the basil, it's time to prune the basil, let's be honest about that. And uh, guys, that's pretty much it. I'm sorry this video is so long, but I hope that inspires you and uh, gets you ready for aquaponics because on this channel, guys, I'm going to stress to you, it's more than what you think it is. At least for me it was, and uh, it's more than just feeding your fish, and uh, it's about system design and uh, just really putting things in the right order for your water to flow through it. And um, 
and, and then the bacteria and feeding your fish and understanding that. And we'll get into all those other things, guys. I just want to say thank you for the subscriptions. Please uh, share this video if you think it's good. Share this channel with other people, guys. I really do want to get out there and reach a lot of people if I can. I don't know everything, but that's the beauty in it, guys. Uh, with your responses and comments and, and likes and all of that good stuff, Guys, we're going to keep building together. We're going to keep learning together. Let's keep feeding our fish. I'll see you guys on the next one.